this time of year is just in our blood. The smell of spring as temperatures rise is inspiring and it's almost as if the earth is being reborn and the next chapter is waiting to unfold. And there's something unique about the serenity of the North Country though. The vast wild forest of Michigan's Upper Peninsula has a way of just completely grasping you and leaving you reaching for more. Maggie and I both share a strong passion for the outdoors and adventure and it's led us to this moment being dropped off together with over 20 miles of remote waters ahead of us deep in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Knowing we'd be battling adversity with Mother Nature, the unknown couldn't be left on our plates. These are the places we truly love and the hunt for steelhead along the Lake Superior shoreline was now beginning. So we were getting started on our first day and we were both very excited. You know, we have over about a 20 mile stretch of river. We don't really know for sure, but it's just some wild remote country. And we don't know what kind of log jams, you know, we're gonna face or anything. And we have no way back. Once we get pushed off, once we're heading down, you know, we're we're in it. There's there's no option of returning or getting picked up, you know, we gotta make it. So we, we get going and it wasn't long and we were met with our first portage. We come to this, this big log jam. So I'm hopping out of the boat, pulling the winch cable, pushing, pulling logs, monkeying around up in the sticks. And finally we get this thing over, we go a little bit farther downstream and there is another one and another one after that. So we had, we had some good challenges ahead of us, you know? Cause one thing that's different with this river, it's so wild and so untouched. So, you know, the river's not cut out like a lot of our traditional rivers, you know, are. And it took us a while for Maggie to hook the first one, but she did, booning off the front of the boat and we were on our first fish of the trip. Well, we were fishing the top end of this and we just dropped back a little bit. And my bobber went down and I, Pulled back and oh, Man. that's disappointing. That's okay. We knew they were fishing this hole, and now I know that I was right. So there's some satisfaction there. So after Kyle and I make it through all of these portages, we're floating down. You know, I get my first fish on, and I'm so excited. And you know, I think sometimes when you get the more excited you get, maybe the more you lose your focus. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But anyways, the first one broke off. So we were both pretty disappointed because we'd done all that work. We got through all these log jams and I lost the first fish. But we floated down maybe a couple more miles and I hook another one. And then that one, I landed. <laughs> you doing some squirrel hunting up in those bushes? I am. I'm trying to camouflage myself so these fish don't see me. There's a spider web right in front of my eyeball. I was bobber dogging off the front of the boat. And Kyle told me to cast in this spot. I thought there was no way that I could cast there, but I got it in, so I'm pretty proud of myself. And not maybe 10, 15 feet down from there. Let's bob her down, baby. <laughs> okay, about to get a look here. What are we, uh, it looks like a drop back hen, actually. Oh, there we go. 
Nice fish, Maggie. Set her in the boat. Ooh, that is pretty, like an iridescent purple. Yeah. Well, we hooked into a couple today so far, but this is the first one we've gotten into the boat, except for a little brook trout right at the beginning. But yeah, just a nice hen, but we're gonna get her going back here. She goes. Nice oh, work, Mags. Got some cold hands. So Maggie lands the first fish of the trip. We're both really excited, you know, we put in some hard work getting around some log jams, but finally we got a dang fish in the boat. So we're feeling good, you know, but little did we know we'd be fishing a ways after that and it was just retie city. I mean, we're snagging up, tying on hooks, you know, and it's just, we didn't find any more fish after that. And uh, thankfully we were bl blessed with the stretch of river that was fairly log jam free. So I'm just mushing on these oars, you know, I'm just pushing and pushing and pushing because we wanted to get down river a ways and, and that way we'd have a good long stretch the next day and we could just primarily focus on fishing. So it starts getting a little bit later in the night and maybe six, seven-ish and Kyle and I had brought all of this stuff for camping and we knew that we had to set it up and we knew the sun would probably set around 8.30. And so we're looking for a place to camp, looking for a place to camp and we get to this spot and there's all these bends in the river. It's just the prettiest section of river we'd seen yet. And we're trying to find a place to camp and finally we go around this bend and we see this huge sandy beach that goes up to the top and it's flat and it actually looked like someone had camped there before. So we pull the boat over and we start getting stuff set up. Well, we're just getting stuff set up here. Um, we're gonna do steak for Kyle. I'm gonna have chicken, and then we're gonna have corn and beans. We were hoping to do a catch and cook, but hopefully we can do it tomorrow night. Um, but yeah, Kyle's gonna cook the meat over the fire. We have a little grill that we're gonna cook it on. And then I'm just gonna get a couple pots going for our beans and corn. And so yeah, we got this whole thing set up here. And then I'll show you, we have the tent set up. So we got a little camp trash can here, so we're not leaving anything. And then if you just look inside here. That's an awesome little tent set up, hey? We got this little area, you know, if it's raining or something, then you could take your clothes off. We don't have to worry about that today. But yeah, then we just have two cots and then it's still a little bit chilly. I mean, it's mid spring, but it just is warming up still. So we got a heater. Yep. So we're just gonna get going here and we're both pretty hungry. So we'll check back in when we're cooking the dinner. So, we're, so Maggie's getting dinner ready here. And uh, yeah, we got our little camp trash bin set up. And guys, when you're out in the woods, you know, make sure to pack out all you bring in. You know, make sure to do that. I mean, I hate floating down the river and seeing just big piles of beer cans, pop cans, you know, trash. Make sure to just pack out, take even more. You know, if you see some stuff on the river, clean it up. I mean, this is a beautiful place and we all love to share this and let's just keep it nice, you know, so yeah. This is uh, just a beautiful, camp setup we have here we have our boat down there gonna wake up early and take a few drifts gonna get a fire going here we have a couple chairs set up we got our cooler we got our grill so what we're gonna cook the meat on gonna get a fire going here in a minute Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How'd you uh, sleep? Uh, How'd you sleep? I slept pretty well. It was a little chilly, but I slept well. 
How'd uh, you sleep? It was freezing. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah, it was a little chilly. I'd say it got down into the low 20s last night. <laughs> but these sleeping bags kept me warm, but I guess Maggie was pretty cool. It was pretty chilly though, that's for sure. Wake you up. Having a little mid-morning brunch here. Got uh, got some sausage, some scrambled eggs, some cheesy camp potatoes. Have some breakfast, and we're gonna go hit the river. We just got up and kind of hung out around the fire and had some coffee this morning. Just kind of relaxed, and we got a long stretch. We're gonna try to get back down to the mouth of the river tonight. Uh, that way we can set up camp and fish the shoreline tomorrow morning. So, you know, we uh, we haven't been fishing as hard today. We just been hanging out, but that's that's part of the experience. You know, I try to catch myself now and try not to go so hard at fishing and just enjoy it and hang out. And it's been a, been an awesome time. There's one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, scrapper. Oh! Hoo, hoo, hoo. Flying back a bit. Nice, we're just getting started here on our second day. And uh, this is only like the second spot we hit. And we came here and first cast. So it's not looking too bad here. I gotta get a fish in the boat. I went all day yesterday without catching anything. It was tough fishing. It was tough, but let's see what we got here. We're just, this is on a spawn sack here, guys. Just a chartreuse bag. And we're just, just float fishing like you see in the rest of our videos. You know, we're just covering water and nice just a pretty hen she looks like a looks like a drop back hen here she is too so she already spawned it's just a nice pretty hen here guys to start to start off our day just had a nice morning had a good breakfast over the fire now first uh, actually second hole we stopped in we got a nice nice and wild fish there look at that big adipose fin just a beautiful hen oh, okay honey she wants to go back we're gonna get her going back here Head back to our lake. Oh, okay. Come on. Oh, I think I just got bopped. There's one. Yep. Nice. Actually, my cast before this one had a bobber down in the same spot, and I wasn't sure if it was bottom, but it looks like it was probably a fish. So, finally found a few here. Oh. Woo. Oh no. Oh no. 
Oh. Broke me off. <laughs> kept, it got below this gravel bar. He kept rubbing his nose on the gravel bar. Finally broke me off. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Try our beads down through there. See what that does. Got our Great Lakes Steelhead Company beads. Let's see what our beads do in this hole. See if we can get a bead biter in there. Let's say maybe. Yup, there's one. First cast with the bead. Oh! Hoo, hoo, hoo. First cast with the bead. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, he got me below the gravel bar where the last one just broke off. We just threw on some beads here and uh, first cast with our beads. Oh no, he's in a stick for sure. Okay, he came out now. Oh no. All right, guys, I got to get my waders on here. This fish is in a log. I was being a little lazy here this morning. It was a nice day. Didn't want to get my wades on. But it's... Oh, he just came off. Well, guys, the fish came off. It's okay, though. You'll have that. You'll have that. So, lesson learned of the day. Don't hit the river until you're fully prepared and geared up. <laughs> All right, guys. First cast with the beads. Had a fish on, tore me up. I was being a bit lazy. Didn't have my wades on. I guess that's what I get. So, lesson learned. A little amateur hour out here. See what the see what the beads do again for us. See if we can duplicate that. Not even there. Fish on. They want the beads. Let's get this one in the boat, baby. Let's get this one in the boat. All right. Oh man. Kind of wrapped my line. Just a nice little male here. We're actually going to do our catch and cook with this one. So this is perfect size. You can see he's a planted fish too by the clipped adipose fin. So this is a perfect fish to uh, harvest and we're going to cook him up tonight and uh, show you guys how we like to cook our fish. We're going to put him on the grill over the fire so it should turn out pretty good. <laughs> You stuck that one, girl. Man, he's full of scrap, isn't he? There we go. Nice, Mags. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Bead bag combo. White bead with a chartreuse bag for the win. Way to go, girl. Just an older male here, uh, lost the first one, Whoop. and we're going to get him going back. All right. She actually caught the first one. We were just going to get a uh, shot of him before we let him go, and he flopped right out of her hands back into the river, which was just a perfect release, just like that one. Great job, Mags. So the second day right off the bat was off to a much better start. We get in the first hole, 
I throw a spawn bag in a hole a few times, hook a couple fish on a spawn bag, run some beads through there, hook a couple up on beads, you know, and we were already into more fish than what we'd seen the day before. I don't know if it was just because we were settled down and we were actually fishing harder, or if it was just, you know, we happened to be in the right stretch. I don't know. But the second day was off to a good start. And we only had a couple more portages to go through, so that was cool. You know, we're getting down river, and the day continues to just get better and better. There's one. Oh, yeah. Oh, hot one. Oh, jumper. Get ready for a jump. Oh, came off. There's one. Oh. On the hero drift. <laughs> Way down there. impressed with this situation <laughs> finally got another fish in been on a case of the losies here I think I've lost my last uh, five fish <laughs> when I used us I got that one though I had to switch up to the center pen big cash was giving me some bad mojo this is another drop back in here uh, she's already spawned she's headed back to the lake Look at that big adipose fin too, how cool. Just a nice wild fish, just a beautiful fish. We're gonna send her back so uh, she can head back to Lake Superior here. It's what we've been mostly catching. There she goes. Been mostly catching drop backs. We've seen, I know Maggie lost one for sure. Nice cromer, that was a fresh one. And we caught one male, that was a fresh one, but most of everything's been drop back, so it's kind of early in the year for that. Um, I don't know, it's been weird, so hopefully we'll find some cromers, but we're catching fish, so can't complain. Get another one. Let's drop down there. I'm gonna film your bobber going through this one. Rubber down. Nice job, Maggie. Way down there too, girl. Way down there, hey? Yeah. I was about to pull in. You little hero drifting down there. He has me in something. What? He has me in something. Well, got me in a log or something. Way down there. I didn't even really see him. He's on the hero drift. <laughs> yeah. Yep, before we could get out and get down there. <laughs> Dang it, we have had a case of the losies today, huh? Yeah, but it's gonna turn around. Yeah, let's get back up there and get another one. There's one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's gonna jump, he's gonna jump. Oh, oh. He's got me in some. Oh, I got lucky. <laughs> oh, Maggie just lost a nice one in that same log. Looks like 
I was just lucky. Oh, there we go. Got him, baby. <laughs> nice big male. Well, we finally got a good, good male here, guys. We've seen a lot of drop back hens, and uh, look at he's been, he's been through the ringer out there. That's just a beautiful Lake Superior buck there. He is uh, another drop back fish. He has done his duty, and we're gonna, we're gonna send him home. Well guys, he just drifted this hole probably 40 times. Same spot. I mean, I've been running the same drift, but for some reason this time he wanted it. So we're gonna try and all this is bad to bring him up, so we're gonna walk down. Over some bushes. Thing tore you up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a beautiful male here. Well, guys, I just floated this drift a bunch of times. I pulled a little brookie out, but I didn't think there was anything else in there. And I just did one last drift in there, and we got him. Guys, check out this massive white pine that has fallen in the river. This thing is insane. Look at this thing. Just completely covering the river. It's unbelievable. Just some of this, some of the forest back here and some of these trees are just so old and it's so untouched and it's just awesome. It's a great feeling to be back here you know hearing nothing but you can hear kind of Lake Superior some of the waves rolling in and you hear some partridge drumming but other than that there's nothing going under this guy comment below how old you think this tree is I'm it's hard to say but man gosh it's got to be that's insane yeah comment below and let us know how old you think that tree is Had the fishiest bobber down. And it is a suckwad. Oh, hooked in the belly. Oh my gosh. Look at the total slime on my line. Oh. <laughs> oh. Look at that. <laughs> we got a big fish on, on the bobber dog. <laughs> oh. He's in something, here, take this mate, take this, take this. Just focus on the fish. Came off. That was a big fish. You didn't do anything wrong. It, it just fish got me in the wood. Gosh. He got me in the wood. That was a big fish. Damn. You didn't do anything wrong. That wasn't your fault. It got me in the wood before you had the pole. 
This is just how it goes. Oh, that's a big fish. A little sad on that one. Got us in the wood. There's too much wood in this river. Those are big fish. This is a, probably looked like about a 10, 12 pounder, one of the bigger, bigger fish we've hooked into. Got us in the wood. Broke off. <laughs> oh, she wrote, oh, she wrote. Just lost a monster steelhead in here, bobber dogging. I was floating down the river and uh, it hit and before I could do anything, boat was turning around and fish got me in a log and came off. We'll see if he's got a couple, couple buddies up here with him though. There's one. Oh! Oh, that was a fish. Oh, that was a fish, guys. Oh, that was so a fish. Okay, here we go. Come on, baby. That was right where that big fish was at when I was floating down with the boat. Let's try it again. Man. No, maybe not. Maybe not, I don't know. Sure looks like a fish. Yep, there we go. Fish on. Oh. Same spot that one big one was at. Oh, this is gonna be a tight area <laughs> to land them oh, I got his tag alders behind me. Oh, she had to play him out. Come on, baby. Nice little. Nice little calm right there. Is it a drop back or is it got Drop back, guys. It is. It's just real fresh. So we're gonna get her going back. Just a nice, pretty hen. She's actually a drop back fish. Another wild fish there. Just look at that big, big, huge adipose fin. Just real cool. Just a lot of respect for these fish. So we're gonna send her back to continue her journey to Lake Superior here. So we're gonna get her going right back. All right. So we're fishing the second day and it was just awesome. I mean, I don't even know how many fish we landed, maybe 10 or 15. The water was much easier to get to. It was just a beautiful day. It was warmer outside. It didn't get chilly until a little bit later in that day, but nothing like the first night. So we're finally getting down a little bit further in the river and it is getting late and it is gonna get dark soon and we're still probably five miles from the end of this river and we're trying to make it all the way down to Lake Superior to camp that night and all the water at the end of the stretch of river was just kind of weird water there weren't very many good places that we thought looked like there were any fish and so Kyle's just oaring and oaring and oaring and trying to get us through this water and finally we get down to the mouth and it just kind of crept up on us because the river was so windy, I mean, we'd go around one bend and we'd hear waves and then the next bend we wouldn't hear anything, so we really didn't know how far we were. But finally we get down there and we set up camp and I mean, that night it was beautiful. It was cloudy, but we fell asleep to the sound of the waves, we made some s'mores, it wasn't nearly as cold as the first night, so spent a bit more time out by the fire just hanging out and it was awesome.
First fish of the morning, hey Mags? Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Just a fishy morning out here, guys. It's not uh, the best sunrise, but just a nice little chop coming in. Here we go, coming up. Oh, it looks like a nice coho, Mags. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's a nice coho. Had a good bite on this rod, but didn't get to it. Didn't stick them. See what we got here. <laughs> that was funny. Max is like, ah, fish. Cool. So we get to bed that night and it's just a beautiful night. It's about 40, 40 degrees for a high that night and we slept great. You know, we slept great. We got up the next morning just so eager and so excited to fish Lake Superior. I was just thinking it would be such a great cap off to an epic adventure to fish the shoreline on Lake Superior and catch some coho steelhead menominee. You know, so we get out there first thing in the morning, we get all of our rods set up, you know, I'm putting rods, casting out, putting them in the rod holders, and just this massive thunderstorm blows in shortly after we caught a couple coho. So we got started, we got a couple fish, then all of a sudden Maggie notices these huge clouds coming at us, and it was just dark. So we just started getting hammered with a torrential downpour, and it's thunder and lightning, you know, one of the first thunderstorms of the year, and it's just, you know, it's shaking the earth. So we're, we're getting our stuff packed up, you know, we're walking back back to our campsite in the pouring rain and we get back and a little disappointed you know but it was just more of just all the feelings of such an epic adventure just all coming to an end you know and just and I look at Maggie and I'm just like well I guess that's it you know and she looks at me and she says yep we're just gonna have to come back so it was just it was an amazing trip amazing experience you know putting in that work and getting down can't explain you know how rewarding that is to do this kind of stuff in such a beautiful place such a place we love so much we hope you enjoyed the video this week guys we had such an amazing time in just the most beautiful place and we can't wait to get back out there and film another adventure for you if you did enjoy the video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel we have some great plans for filming for the rest of the summer that you guys are not going to want to miss until next time good luck and we'll see you out on the water